Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, the Blockchain Coder, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at something called user input service. Now, first, before I explain what it is, we're going to open up our script. Now, if you guys haven't already noticed, the Roblox UI for Roblox Studio has changed, like a lot, like everything has changed here. So, if you guys are a little confused, then I'm just going to show you what's what. So, this is the workspace player players, lighting, material service, and so on. I think um, the they made it easier to differentiate between local scripts and normal scripts. So you see, I have a local script here, which was our um, disable and controls enable thing. So yeah, you can see a local script has this icon here, which is like a little desktop in a script icon. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to go over into our starter player area here and then we're going to open up our starter player scripts and we're going to add a new local script and we're going to call this one what if it's this one? yeah we're going to call it uis or short for user input service so first what we want to do to get user input services we do local user input service equals to now first, let me explain what user input service is. So, user input service is a service that allows you to detect the input that a player uses. For example, if they press the key I or O on their keyboard, or they press F, you'll be able to use user input service and detect it. So, to get user input service, first you have to do local user input service, game, now instead of doing something like game dot, we have to do game colon get service because it's a service, and then double quotes user input service. There we go, and now we have our user input service there. Now what I think we should do, maybe we'll give ourselves the tool. In this case, I've chosen a classic sword, which is the normal Roblox default sword, which you can get over here, Roblox sword. Okay, now let's just, ah, classic sword. Classic sword. And you guys will get it. So you guys can also just type in sword and yeah. So, once you guys have it, I want you to move it into your replicated storage. This is similar to the workspace, except what you put in it can't be seen here at all. Unlike in the workspace. So, uh, for example, if I take the sword, put it in the workspace, uh, let me first locate it. There it is. So it's here now in the workspace. But if I move it over into replicated storage, you can no longer see it. It's the same thing if you move into server storage. So yeah. But now we're going to go back into our script and we're going to get a function. Okay. So the function is an event, an event to trigger the function. So we're going to do UIS, or user input service, our variable, user input service dot input began. So this is the event that's triggered that when you say press a key, like, um, like I mentioned, F, Q, or maybe even if you just left click or right click on your mouse. So first we're going to do user input service dot input began as we've already done and then colon connect function and then here our parameters are the input object in this case we're just going to call it input and then the game processed event which we will not be using for now so we'll just put that as gpe so what the input object is it's basically it's the method of input. Is it a mouse click? Is it um a keyboard? Is it a key on your keyboard? Is it a gamepad movement or anything like that? So now what we do here is if input dot key code. Now key code is basically we're detecting whether a player has pressed the key. So have they pressed F, R, E, anything? So input.keycode equal equals to enum, 
Now, enum is like a special word that Roblox uses to get uh things like key code. You know, you can also have use input type, input type, and a lot of other things here. So we're gonna do enum dot key code dot. Uh, let's go for f. F. Then game dot replicated storage. Replicated storage, not replicated first. Replicated storage dot classic sword. Mm, colon clone because we don't want to just move it because we want to do this multiple times as I'll show you guys later in the video. Dot classic sword colon clone dot parent. Now we're gonna set its parent. So its parent will be game dot local game dot players game dot players dot local player local player dot backpack. Now the backpack is kind of like where all your tools are stored in Roblox. So like if you go up here uh, to the player section, since I'm in my studio right now, it shows me my username here, Fencer B Alt. And then my backpack is here. This is where all my tools will be stored. And of course, your player scripts where we will get our user input service script. So yeah. Now we have this, so let's test it. We're gonna test it with a simple play and see whether it works. Okay, so we're in the game now. Let's wait for our avatar to load in. Okay, and now we're gonna press F. And there we go, we have our sword. We have our sword with us right now, so yeah. And we can even do this more times. Say we want to do it three more times to get three more swords. One, two, three. And we get, and you can do this for an infinite amount of time. If infinite amount of time. So I can just keep spamming this. Now, I mentioned the backpack. So if you guys have seen, you guys may have seen this before. It's the inventory and this is basically your backpack. All the stuff here and here is in your backpack. As you guys can see here. In my backpack, I have all these swords. I can even delete some right here if I want. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I can. So I can just move this one back here. So you can see that I have these two items here in my backpack. But if I use one by pressing uh, 2 on my keyboard, it will now move from my backpack to my actual character in the game. So your character is in the workspace and here it is. So yeah. You guys will see that it is over here. Because it becomes like a part of your character. So yeah. That is how you use user input service. And a little bit of extra about player system. The player system. Let's go back and look at a script and determine if we can change anything. Well, Things seem okay now script, so I think guys with that I'm end the video here, so thanks for watching. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.